Hello, hi everyone. Welcome to this video. This is Arvind Mota. And uh, let's look at the market view and trade setup for the week uh, starting 22nd of February, 2021. Okay, so as you can see, Nifty has started to uh, weaken after it touched the uh, highs of 15,400 uh, thereabouts. And right now it's closed below 15,000, which is a sign of weakness, right? So in terms of support, 14,950 to 15,000 will be crucial support. As long as Nifty is staying above these levels, I think we can expect a rebound, right? So even if it goes below, uh, if we see a close below 14,900, um, that is the immediate support, the lows on Friday, that will be crucial. It, if it closes below this, I think it will go and test a 20-day moving average, which is around 14,750. Right, so that is a very strong support on a positional basis. So, as long as Nifty is staying above this level, I think there is a good chance it may recover and start going higher. Right, so the near term view is definitely uh, mildly bearish. Mostly, there will be a, there's a good chance it will consolidate between uh, on a larger uh, scale of what 14,750 to 15,250. Uh, this kind of 600 point range. If the candle on Friday is a pretty big range, you can see here uh, 15,150 is acting as a very strong resistance zone. Any kind of rallies in case if you open flat and again start to go up, I think there could be more selling pressure coming in around 15,150 zones. That's a good place to go short again for near term traders. And the stop could be just above here, say 15,180 kind of uh, stop for going short here again, right? So if it starts to come up a highs, it will again retest uh, 14,800, uh, uh, 4,900 zones, which is a uh, immediate support zone. So we can trade within this range. You can still be a buyer here and uh, uh, it will go and retest 15,000. So we, within this range, we can trade that is for day traders and near term traders. Uh, but positional traders, I think we should still look to for buying opportunities because we're still in a bull market there is no sign of big weakness. There's no, this not going to be a major correction in the market. I think this is a minor, minor correction within a larger uptrend. So at some point we will start to go up uh, and retest, uh, you know, 15, 250, 300 thereabouts, and we can also re, re attempt to break out above 15 or 400, which is the previous high. So this is going to be a very strong resistance zone. And you can see Bollinger Bands have also expanded on the higher side. You can see it's going all the way up to 15, 700, 800 zones. So I think once this kind of minor pullback is stabilizing and recovering, we can definitely expect higher levels uh, in the coming uh, next month. Okay, but uh, one thing on the negative side is that RSI, the daily RSI has dropped below 60, which is uh, uh, something which we have to take note of. If it sustains below 60, I think, uh, there could be more weakness coming into the market. So we need to uh, be a little cautious. As of now, uh, I've advised my clients to trade light, avoid the index trades and uh, stay focused on stock specific analysis. In fact, on Friday, we got uh, two very good trades, one on IDFC First Bank and another one Tata Chemicals, both these uh, top gainers in F&O stocks, uh, F&O sector. So we made good profits. We didn't take any trade on the index for the last two days. And we are fine with it because uh, going short in the bull market is a little risky. And look at the intraday volatility that we had on Friday, right? You can see there are two candles, 15 minute candles, which are 100 point range, right? You can see 14,900 to again 15,000 is kind of pullback. So this can even uh, take the biggest of stop losses and you will get trapped on both sides. So the best thing is to do is to look at a positional basis which is still buy on dips. As long as Nifty is about 20 DMA, we are still in a buy on dips market, right? So look for buying opportunities. Anytime it comes close to support levels, uh, try to go long, right? That's my view on Nifty. Coming to Bank Nifty, uh, you can see 36,400 is a very strong supply zone. Any kind of rallies make it sold into there and immediate support is coming at 35,300, right? So it's a big, big range here. So any kind of uh, rallies to 36, 400, try to sell with a minus stop loss of 200, 300 points. And I think there could be more selling pressure coming in. Banking, so banking and financials are looking weak. So look for shorting opportunities 
uh, in banking sector. So 20 DMA is coming at 34, 560, uh, which is still a long way off, but that is going to be a very strong major support for on a positional basis. So any kind of downtrend towards here will be a good buying opportunity for a uh, longer term, right? So near term trend is definitely weak. Uh, positional trend, we have to wait and see how the markets play out. The global markets are still uh, volatile and sideways, not much activity happening here, even though Europe closed uh, positive. Uh, U US markets were still sideways. You can see last one week, there's not much happening in Dow Jones. Uh, it's formed a, like a shooting star kind of a pattern here, or you can call this gravestone doji, uh, which is indicating there is selling pressure on the higher levels. So there is definitely minor weakness. There's nothing uh, like a big uh, correction coming in the US markets. It is still uh, sideways. Even S S S uh, S and P 500 was again sideways. You can see it's formed a bearish pattern, but it is in a very narrow range. So very good chance as long as staying about 20 DMA, this will be a buy on dip market. And once it takes out this level around 4,000, oh sorry, uh, 3950 zones, I think we can see levels close to 4,000 in S and P 500, which can again take the markets global markets higher. See. Uh, SGX Nifty is closed above 15,000, but again, we have to see how it plays out, it opens out on Monday and how it plays. But still, it's going to be a very sideways market with a negative bias. So look for uh, shorting opportunities and it's going to be a minor sell-on rally kind of um, approach. That's what we can uh, look at. See, FIS have not stopped buying much. Volumes are very low here and DIS are selling big. So there is definitely no uh, kind of up, strong uptrend in the market as of now. We have to wait and see uh, until uh, FIS starts buying huge, there's not going to be much uptrend left, right? So that's my view. Uh, I will post some of the trades uh, which we took last week in my Facebook group, also on Instagram. You can follow the links in the description is there. And if you'd like to subscribe to our live market support, I'll leave the links in the description. Check out my uh, links. You can also WhatsApp or email me. Uh, for any assistance. Thanks for watching. Take care and have a good week ahead. Bye-bye.